hello you beautiful people Aquarians and cross watchers welcome to your video so I've already done a pre shuffle and I've already said my prayers so I just want to be the first to tell you today that I want you to know you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world and I value you guys for spending your time and your energy with me and the divine also values you I um, in the pre shuffle I got something interesting I got a lot of cards that said uh, you know think about what it is that you want this is a good time to reflect on what you want um, to happen in your life and that um, to let the past go so I don't know if that's what's going to come out or if that was just a specific message so we're going to see what wants to come out here today in this reading what is it that wants to come out for whoever's watching here Aquarius or cross watcher roles can be reversed if you're dealing with a, an Aquarian um, so keep that in mind and it's a general reading so because it's a general reading because it's a general reading some messages may apply and some may not okay it says put your create creativity excuse me put your creative energy into action Archangel Gabriel joins me to spark your creativity help your uh, communicate your vision and motivate you to create something beautiful so uh, I do believe that this was for you guys. There is something that you are meant to create. Uh, give me one second. Okay. I just, I felt like something was tugging at me, but nothing is here. That was interesting. But anyway, so definitely this is a good time for creating, all right? For creating and putting your creative energy into action. So anything you've been thinking about working on, it's highly supported right now so let's see what wants to come out this is uh, the afternoon quickie tarot reading and uh, we try to keep it under 20 minutes though I am thinking about doing extendeds for these for those who uh, want more details this is exactly the card that came out in the pre shuffle this is a card of reflection it's the hermit card so uh, more affirmations on that definitely reflect on what you want at this time four of wands where do you what do you want in your life as far as success okay four of wands it's an 11 11 card you could be seeing that um you could be seeing twos and fives also i forgot to say that or sevens okay some of you might even be seeing lucky triple sevens okay pay attention to what you see when you're out and about what sticks out to you what colors stick out to you really be immersed in the moment and the universe is always talking to you a lot of times we just overlook things you know but four of wands talks about stability success you know there's four legs on the table not three not two so uh, completions so this is definitely saying reflect on what it is you want reflect on the things that you want to be successful at in your life all right some people want a successful relationship. Some people want a successful career uh, income. Some people want to be a successful parent. What is it that you really want? Okay. What are your goals right now? Some people, it's health, you know, wanting to get in better health. This is Child of Cups. It talks about the heart, okay? So literally, what is it that is close to your heart, all right? Because what is on your heart, um, it's always mind over heart when it comes to these manifestations, okay? Whatever you put the most feelings to, and that Child of Cups does talk about feeling. Whatever you're putting the most feelings to is what you're creating. Whether you realize it or not, that's what you're creating. So do you want to create what is actually... In your heart space or on your mind do you want to create that or do you want to really be a conscious creator and sit back and think about what it is that you really want to be successful at because you can make the energy work to your benefit very important to know that the universe always matches our energy always okay so it's important to know what we're speaking thinking and feeling at all times because you can transmute all of that you are the creator in your world Show me what I need to see here. Is that the rest of the reading? I don't know. That's a lot, though. Five of Worlds. This talks about lack, okay? And we were not meant to live in lack. Lack is a mindset um, of feeling that we feel that we are and we actually create it in our environment. 
but it doesn't have to be that way it can be it can be changed all right so many cards that came out here and uh didn't want to have to take all of these but it is what it is here seven of wands what do you what do you stand for okay five of wands these are your stressors nine of cups what do you really want okay and if you have to join with others to make this happen all right three of worlds do it whatever it is that you want in your life you can absolutely achieve it and if you have to come together with others for this to happen whether it's learning something um you know fitness goals joining a place okay moving to a new location if you're in a place that you're not really happy at what is it and if you got to join with others do it um and this is aquarius right here man of crystals there's a brand new beginning out here for you with the ace of worlds and the universe and what it's saying i believe it's saying now is a good time to create to be a conscious creator because of this very powerful um eclipse i'm not sure but i think it's in pisces now pisces um the benefit of pisces is we can really tune in and create and dream right um that is a very important part of creating something is to be able to fantasize about it and that piscean energy can really that neptune energy can really help us do that and i'm pretty sure that's what this eclipse is in but don't quote me i will be doing a reading for that eight of worlds i'm telling you i feel your your focus is about to shift this is very clear though i will clarify this um you're not going to be able to see all the cards so many came out way more than nine cards came out here but when it's like that i just read it like a book and very easy to read for me to read like a book i can read tarot like a book and simple um and the last card is actually making movement toward that so i like that four cups reverse okay that's getting off the butt and doing it just getting off the couch getting out of the house uh, whatever um your focus is definitely going to change and for those of you who want love you're not going to wait for love you're actually going to attract it by doing something different being that which you want to come into your life and you're going to attract that all right waiting on love attracts waiting on love meaning it doesn't happen we just wait but doing something being the person that you want to come into your life be that person because your energy will attract your energy um okay brand new beginning brand new beginning um what's ending here is a tough cycle that's what is meant to close out a tough cycle and i think i did channel that in a reading that i did the other day so first off we have taurus virgo capricorn energy this has to do with uh it's in the reverse but when we're clarifying the first card this talks about stability okay remember i told you the second card out was about stability so what is it that you want in your life what would bring you stability and, and i work with a lot of homeless people and i know the first answer most people get a boatload of money a boatload of money would give me a lot of stability but it's really not about that okay money's just energy like anything else so instead of manifesting money manifest a successful business a successful career manifest um money for you not money excuse me <laughs> i'm falling into my own trap here manifest a vacation or manifest an experience and then what happens after that for it to happen be open to it because opportunities will open and i see it here ace of um worlds ace of cups and like i said a lot of people are looking for love okay love and money um or the majority not saying that's everybody but what comes out here in tarot and it's here to be had it's here to be had once somebody realizes that they have to really think about what it is they want to sit with one's thoughts and feelings and feel and know what it is that you want okay yeah death and rebirth in the reverse when you make this change that's going to bring a whole lot of stability 
Um, that's what has to happen here, death and rebirth. It's Pluto energy, which is entering our sign here in, in November. But it's not saying Pluto's going to do all the work. But Pluto will bring opportunities. Really, there's always opportunities. You have everything in your chart. And you can act on these opportunities. But it's definitely saying you first have to be the creator of it. And there's a lot of thought on what's going to bring you stability. Okay, do you need do you need finances? All right, so you can move to a different place, um, do things. Well, start manifesting those things that money buys rather than the money to buy them. All right, we have the lovers in reverse. That's a decision. It's Gemini energy. I also had Scorpio energy here. If I didn't say that, I know I said Pluto. But making the decision here in concrete, be specific. And be clear about what it is that you want. All right. What is it you really want? Because this is exactly what will manifest. What your what your emotions, whatever you're putting the majority of your emotions to is what will actually manifest. Um, you can correct and retrain your mind. You can correct your thoughts. It takes practice, but you can do it. You just do it. Every time those thoughts that pop into your head that you don't want this to happen, but they seem to be coming in, you know, like... Um, say you want some some goal and your mind is saying well that'll never happen that is the mind it's not you it's your mind and it's sabotaging okay and you can just imagine right then and there like a little trash can or um, a filing cabinet or anything else and you can just take that thought and say right now I don't need this thought and let me just take that thought and I can throw it away um, and you retrain your brain. You keep doing that enough times. And then what's going to happen? Your brain is going to stop putting those sabotaging thoughts in there. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. So literally, Seven of Wands is clarified by the Four of Cups. It's really going to, you know, what do you want to take a stand for in your life? If anything, stand for yourself. Stand for yourself. And don't look at it as... This a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Because it takes energy. And Seven of Wands is definitely that energy. But I do see, like, this is the same card, but in reverse in the end. So I do see that you're making movement toward what you want. Five of Wands is a lot of oppression. And it's clarified here by the Eight of Swords reverse. It's just get out of your mind. If it's negative thoughts, if it's stressful thoughts, remember, do that little training exercise. Just file it over in a box, okay? If it's something you have to address, but you don't have to address it now, put it in a filing cabinet. If it's a thought that's completely a waste of your time, like, this will never happen for me, completely just throw that away, okay? Right now, it's about you, and right now, it's about creating something solid and practical in your life that's beneficial. We have Fulfillment, Nine of Cups. Ace of Cups reverse is clarifying it. Okay, what is it you really love? What is it you really love? Because whatever you're putting the most thought and emotion to is what is actually manifesting whether you want that or not. But trust me, you can change it. Three of Worlds. Clarified by the Page of Wands and the reverse. Okay, if there is some help that you can get and you haven't reached out, reach out. Educate yourself, okay? Okay. Um, I want to do this. You can even use AI, chat GB, GPT. You can use uh, Gemini or whatever it is that you're using for some sort of AI. And you can even say, I want to do this. Uh, how can I go about it? I mean, it, this, it's so easy to do what you want to do. It's so easy to get information for free nowadays. Way easier than it ever was for people uh, way back or the past. It is so easy to just use these tools to guide you to what it is that you want to do. If you don't know how to do it, the information is free. It's free. Tell me about the Man of Crystals. This is Aquarius Energy, and it landed on Ace of Worlds. So that's this new beginning. And like I said, a lot of you want to come together with somebody. A lot of you want someone to love. And I'm hearing that song, Find Me Someone to Love. I don't know who sings that song. Um, I don't know who sings that song. All I can do, I'm just hearing Jim Carrey sing it. And when he was playing the cable guy, when he sung it with a lisp, that's all I can hear that song. Find me someone to love or something like that. But yeah, you can even create that too. 
all you have to do is just make that conscious choice of what it is that you want. What, what do you want and how do you see yourself as successful? How do you want to be successful? You can definitely take away whatever it has been for you that you don't want. You can definitely remove that just by changing the way you think and feel. Tell me about the universe. That's fixed energy for Aquarius, Scorpio, um, Taurus, and Leo. But for me, it's this eclipse energy. Yeah. There's going to be changes. Ten of Cups reverse. These changes, depending on what you're creating in your life through your thoughts and feelings, you're going to eclipse people out and eclipse people in. <laughs> as simple as that. Um, definitely. Definitely. You're going to... Whatever has not been benefiting you, Aquarius in the reverse, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and Aquarius energy. But what this is like saying, the Queen of Pentacles loves herself or his self and is very uh, stable and grounded. So what, whatever has not been suiting you, okay, is out because this new beginning is in. Tell me about the Eight of Worlds. That's where your focus is going to shift. And bam, I have the Ace of Pentacles here twice. You have a brand new beginning coming in if you choose to have it. Remember, it's a choice. You can choose to wait, but remember, the universe will wait with you. You can choose to think it will never happen for you. And remember, it will never happen for you because the universe is matching your energy. Tell me about this. I don't have to clarify. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups and Man of Cups. That's somebody to love. That's a Two of Cups right here. Um, a lot of people are manifesting a person. All right, we have the four pentacles, and we. <laughs> some of you, some of you don't realize is you already have somebody interested in you. Mm -hmm. Somebody, some of you already have someone interested, but they're just sort of holding back their feelings. But uh, that might change here soon. All right, man of cups, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Knight of Swords, very fast energy, and it's and it's Gemini energy. So what you may not realize is some of you already have an admirer who's holding back. And they're thinking about, you know, letting you know. Sage of Crystals is here. And it's also just came out here. It is the Knight of Swords in both. So, and it's the Knower. So somebody, I feel, is interested in some of you guys and about ready to let you know. And that's done with, all right? Ten of Swords and the Empress. So whoever this is, for those of you who already have somebody interested in you, they're about ready to let you know. Um, maybe they've had to overcome or get out of something, um, some sort of ending because, it, you know, or maybe it's you. I don't know who this person is, but that's, that's a specific, um, somebody is watching you and somebody is already interested in you. Um, for those of you who are manifesting like a person or family member, like a, a parent-child type thing, you know, I do see soon someone coming af out to the Empress, but it's after a hard ending in their life, something hard. So just keep that in mind. Person you meet might have gone through something hard, or you might go th through something rough when you, after you, you know, and then you meet them. Tell me about this Child of Wands. We have the Five of Cups and the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Wands being reversed. So let go of the fact that this is taking forever. Look at it differently. Look at why is this taking forever. Is my thoughts or my feelings have anything to do with it? Is it divine timing? Do I have a lesson to learn? Um, do I need, just need to get out and live my life and get out of this But if this is someone thinking about you, a close connection, someone from a past life, someone um, like a child or a family member. This is a person thinking about you if you've been in separation from them. Tell me about the Ten of Crystals. It's here twice. And I'm telling you, after something hard or difficult happens, and then the Hermit becomes reversed. So even if it's you trying to figure out what you want, and it's really hard because you have to detach from something in order to go after something new, um... But it's actually getting back out there. And if this is a person who wants to come into your circle, your vicinity, or come in, and you're not aware of it, again, that Ten of Crystals, it's something hard that they're going through. But then they come out. They appear. They surface. And tell me about the Four Cups. Yeah. 
final cards here is just do it <laughs> okay just do it it's whatever is much closest to your emotions here whatever you're really feeling in your heart that you want to do it's that desire that you're really not telling anybody it's deep it's deep within you and maybe you don't know how to go about it okay but if you want to attract love get out of the energy of waiting and be the love that you want to come into your life you also have to match that energy so if you're waiting for someone to come in and love you the person who loves you is also waiting for you to come in right you're, you're both waiting somewhere in this world do something is what it's saying okay do something take the ideal and ground it ground it bring it from the ethereal and ground it do something be the energy that you want to come into your life and I see you doing that with the four of cups and the reverse but it doesn't have to be with love it can be with anything match the energy of what it is that you want Anyway, this was a great reading. I hope it was under 20 minutes. You saw all the cards fall out. So let's close out with a bonus card. Two of them. New Moon and Cancer. Relax. And keep your heart open. First quarter moon in Libra. Keep your heart open. So it is important to relax, but it's important to put your creative energies into motion. And it's important to not be in the waiting energy because... The universe does match our energy. Anyway, guys, I love you. I'll see you in the next one. And namaste, my friends.